Hey, how you doing? Jack Scalfani here, and I'm in the city of Irvine, and I am going to a new place with a new friend. That's right. My buddy Phil's going to be here any minute, and it looks like we're going to be checking out this place called 85 Celsius Bakery Cafe. Let me show you what it looks like. Now, I'm in the, I'm in the shopping center at Jamboree and Main Street in Irvine, and it's called 85C Bakery Cafe. It's supposed to be really amazing. Uh, somebody told me they have awesome coffee here, so I'm going to check it out and do a little review on it. My buddy Phil should be here any minute, and I'll introduce you to him in just a second. So, Phil's here. How you doing, bud? Good, man. How are you? Doing awesome. Good. Okay, now, uh, this is my new friend. I have a new friend. Can you believe it? And uh, Pentel. Exactly. Um, so, can you tell me one more time, uh, tell everybody about your food blog, because that's how I got hooked up with you. You have a podcast called My Life is a Foodie. Right. And uh, we talk about food on the show, talk about food issues, um, new TV shows that come out, uh, a lot of, when there's a food we call, we talk about it, discuss it, discuss the issues, talk about chefs, do some interviews on the show, some chefs and stuff. And you love food? Of course, I love food. Crazy okay. About it. So the, do you like bakeries and coffee and that kind of stuff? There is my, uh, my weak point, no. I love coffee shops. Right. I'm not a fan of sweets. You're not. I'm not, but I love coffee. So, and I've heard the coffee's great here. Okay, so, so I want you to give me your honest opinion once we try it, okay? Absolutely. All right, let's go inside and right. check it out. Wow, but look at the look at the bakery stuff. Here we go. Wow, I love it. So they got a big line here for coffee. Oh, I guess this is the bakery line. We're in the bakery line. Oh, let's get out of it. Let's get out of the bakery line. Hold on a minute. Oh, but I want to get a shot of this. Amazing bakery items. And then you get your bakery over there. Look at that. That's beautiful. Yes, jamming. All right, are we, where's the coffee line, dude? Right are, here. We're in it now? Actually, we're not in it. We're not in it? We're screwed again. Are you in line? Oh, screwed again. A little confusing, a little confusing. <clears throat> oh, look, they got the bakery chefs here. These are the bakery chefs for this place. And then they got uh, 85C as the logo. There you go. There it is. And then, uh, oh, hey, let me know when we're up, all right? I want to take a peek over here. All right, here's all your bakery people. Look at that. Hi, how you guys doing? I know you can't hear me, but I just want to see what you're making down there. Ooh, look at that. That's very cool. Yeah, they're busy. Big back room back there, too. That looks amazing. What is that, kiwi and melon? on top of some delicious thing that's really bad for you. All right. Okay, so there, I was told about the sea salt coffee. Are you gonna get that? I am. You are, I'm gonna, uh, you know what? Maybe I should get something different then, so we can no, you, go, you go ahead and get it so you can taste it. Okay. I'm gonna get a regular coffee as well. Oh, okay, so we're getting two drinks. Oh yeah. Nice, all right, do it, now, let's it do comes, it. If it comes with a syringe, I'll take it. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, so what did we order? We ordered uh, two iced coffees that were uh, the sea salt coffee. Mm -hmm. uh, we ordered a medium uh, regular coffee, the 85C coffee, the mm -hmm. coffee they're famous for. Right. Just like an Americana or something. And then uh, I think we ordered a mocha. The yeah, white chocolate mocha. White chocolate mocha. Yeah, so we're so, gonna try those right now? Some foo foo coffees. Some foo foo. Shut up, dude. That was, <laughs> that was my choice. You're making fun of my choice. Please. <laughs> you ordered it. All right, whatever. Here it is. All right, so here we go. It's no Starbucks. Look at that. This is the right. iced sea salt. Oh, and coffee. they seal the top with they plastic. Seal it, yeah. That cool? That's pretty cool, dude. That's cool. And then you poke your straw through it, huh? I think you do. You poke a straw through it. Uh, do you poke a straw through it, or you just? I don't know. I I think you poke poke a straw through it. Okay. Well, I I'm think gonna, I've seen this before. I'm yeah. Do that, See right? how it's cut at an angle? Your straw. Go ahead. Oh, okay. there you go. Nice. That's it. That's, That's it. how it works. Done. How sweet is that? Now, 85 degrees Celsius. Is that how hot the coffee is normally? Is that why? They nope. named it that? I don't know what that goes, what that translates to. I'm not very good at the metric system. I'm yeah, I don't either. American. What uh, did, why didn't they do like, uh, I don't know, 190 degree F? <laughs> who knows? Maybe it's too many digits. Maybe because they hate America. Stop it! <laughs> anyway. Oh, by the uh, way, the I'm going to tell you that I'm cutting that out, but I'm not cutting it out. <laughs> I know. I always say, oh, we'll cut that out. And then it, never, it always makes the final. It's okay. <laughs> cool. Yeah, we're not here to make friends, right? No, not really. We're just here to drink coffee. We're here to drink coffee. <laughs> I paid my money. 
All right. All right there. I think that's kind of nice. You're not going to get it all over yourself. Look, yeah. here's the thing. It's a nice coffee, so it's not going to splash all over you. No, it's, I love the design. I think, yeah. I think if McDonald's was a little smarter, they wouldn't have people suing them every time someone spilled coffee. Exactly. Yeah. It'd be their own fault because it was sealed. Right. Okay, so let me get your opinion first, and then I'll drink. Yeah. So let's do the salt. Uh, this is the sea salt one, sea right? Sea salt coffee. Now, this is a little different. I'm a very... I don't like regular coffee cup of person. Yeah, me too. That's good. What? It's good. What? Are you serious? I do like that. No way. You know what? Hold on a second. Aftertaste? Salt kicking in? Kind of weird? Not really, but it, yeah, this kind of cuts it off a little. Really? It's not as sweet. Right? Yeah, it kind of bal balances it, what I heard. Yeah, it really does. Yeah, this is, um, this is a, uh, a diversion for me. See those guys back there? Yeah. I don't know who they are. Okay, here we go. It's okay. Do you like it or no? I don't hate it. I'm but not sure like what it. that's supposed to mean. Yeah. <laughs> Me neither. I mean, I'm not ready to dance a jig over it. You don't want to marry it. No, no. I mean, it's like, it just tastes like a nice coffee. A little bit of chocolate in it or something. It's nothing great. I mean, I wouldn't order it again. Would you order this again? No, I, I'm a coffee drinker. Yeah, me too. Okay, nice design. Yeah, it's okay. All right, so let's talk the other coffee now. All right. We have two coffees here. We've got a regular coffee. Now, let me see. Let me look at this first. Yeah, that's a regular coffee, like coffee Americana. Nice, okay. okay. And then this is the cafe mocha. Okay. All I'm right. going to leave the lid off that. I want to cool that. All right. Oh, is it? It's not hot, huh? I ordered it at 140. Did you? I sh they never do 140. Feel that? That's what? like 141. You asked. Me. <laughs> Sorry. I wondered what that meant when you said 140. A oh, 140. Seriously, it's the temperature. Okay. And it's drinkable. Look at yours is hot. Mine isn't. Yeah. Okay. Yours is a regular temperature. Go ahead. Try that. It's sweet. Sweet, really? Yeah. That's sweet. So they've already put cream and sugar in it and they stuff? Have, they have done that. <clears throat> All right. Now try mine, and I want you to taste the temperature. You'll feel the difference. You can drink right away. See it? That's also sweet. Yeah. That's good, though. Yes. White chocolate mochas I like that. usually dictate whether a coffee house is good or not. Right. Okay, so... Here's the thing about coffee. You like the temperature, though? Yeah, the coffee's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah, 140. You're going to start ordering 140. I know you. It's still fine. <laughs> All right, cool. 180. Yours at 180? Yeah. Okay, do you, you like piping hot coffee? I do like hot coffee. Oh, uh, not me. So here's the thing. You judge a coffee shop by its coffee. Right. Because you could put all the stuff in the world in this coffee. Right, right. And make a decent cup of coffee. Right. Even if it's a bad mm -hmm. coffee. It's like wine. You have a bad bottle of wine, but you could turn it into a really nice uh, sangria, right? Yeah. Put a bunch of stuff in it. Yeah. So or pour it in your spaghetti sauce. Um, yeah. 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 Have you ever seen it taste what this tastes like black? Oh yeah, black coffee is the best test. Hey dude, dude, what's with the face? I just hit the salt. Oh, you got the salt? Yeah, it was. It's all at the bottom. It's like drinking the ocean. Dude, it's like licking the bottom of the ocean. Okay, so so I'm guessing you would never recommend that drink, right? If you like salt in your coffee, yeah. Yeah, well, I didn't just order a cup of salt. Have at it. <laughs> Not That's for me. great. Thank you, though. Okay, so you're a regular coffee guy, right? I'm a regular coffee guy. In All fact, right. if I could make a suggestion. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, any of you who ever visit uh, here in Orange County, either in Tustin or Newport Beach, there's a place called Keen Coffee. Martin Diedrich, who started Diedrich's back in the 90s. Right. His family ended up selling out to Starbucks. Right. He is in love with beans. Uh, goes all over the place, goes to Guatemala, goes to Brazil, all over the, the, the world, looking for the best beans. Really? Fair trade beans. So, you know, these are people who are, these farmers are being treated respectfully. They're, right, right. You know, it's not like the, the dirty, the, the black diamond type of thing. Right, right. Uh, blood diamond, sorry. Uh huh. Uh, no, these are fair trade beans. They're fantastic. He's in love with it. He's one of the best roasters uh, anywhere, let alone in Orange County. Keen Coffee in Tuscany. Well, why don't we go there next? Let's go. All right, all right so. Overall, as a coffee house, yeah. uh, out of ten stars, what would you give this place? You've tried, you've tried what you like, you've tried what you don't. If I'd people it, wanted to come here, what would you give them? I'd give it a strong six or seven. Um, I, I didn't like the sea salt. I didn't care for it, but then I hated it when I got to rock bottom because that's where all the rock salt was. Uh, I'm gonna give it, uh, yeah, I'll give it uh, six. 
I give it a six. I've been to better places. The white chocolate mocha wasn't bad, but I've had better. And where are we going? You said King Coffee? King Coffee. King Coffee. We're going to do that one next. So when you see Phil, me and him are going to go, we're going to go hit another coffee joint. All right, Jack Scalfani here in Irvine at 85C, and I'll see you on the next episode. Take care.